Hey everyone, good to talk to you again. It was funny, as I was getting ready for this week, putting the PowerPoint up and looking over the lecture again, uh, I started on in on the Inverted Pyramid lecture, and then I looked at the schedule and made sure I put up the interviewing one, but it made me think, boy, I'm going really slow this, this summer. Um, I think it works for this class, though, because I think you guys are advanced. It seems like you're getting the concepts pretty well. You've taught them before, and what I'm really trying to do is in each of these areas, highlight some things that I've seen the students that I work with need work on and by extension I'm saying then that these are things that maybe you could work on with your students as they come in. Um, I see that especially in this interviewing lecture and I'm just going to say a few words about it and be quick so you don't have to watch a long video again. Uh, students understand the questions they need to ask. They understand they need to ask open-ended questions, get people talking, but the thing that they miss most of all is following up. And that's why I've linked to the video. Uh, there's a transcript, actually. Uh, that one does a really good job of encouraging reporters. It's actually made for working reporters on how to really listen in interviews, how to find questions that they can follow up on. You know, when someone says, oh, I like milk because I worked on a dairy farm. You know, students tend to go, oh, dairy farm, write it down, they're done when really some of the best stories can say can come from that follow-up question you worked on a dairy farm what was that like you know um, I found that a lot as a reporter uh, when I really started getting good and when I started writing good profiles were the time when I could give myself sometimes even an hour with a source just to talk just to get to some of those fun responses that I wouldn't expect the story that I always tell my classes is I was assigned to do a story about a man who was turning a hundred and I didn't want to do it I was kind of bored by it you know, I was like, why do I have to, you know, why am I on the geriatric beat? So I started asking him my standard questions. You know, what did you do in your life? What, what are your hobbies? When I asked him what his job was, he said, oh, I was an illegal bookmaker. And I almost missed it. I almost passed it up. But I'm glad I didn't because that was one of the, I think, one of the more fun stories that I ever wrote. Just talking to him about his life, how he skirted the law, how he made money doing that. It was a great story and I got it because I would followed up. The other point that I want you to really take away from this week is the types of sources to find. The little video that I've posted on our site called Third Places, um, it's a clip from that series that I just talked about where, uh, where the better interviewing, uh, better questions comes from. Um, it's the only one I can find online. But this one is a really good job of saying, let's go out and find people where they are. Let's not rely on, as I say in the, the lecture, the involved sources or the interested sources. Let's go out and find those uninvolved people. But let's work to make journalism help those people become involved. That is really part of what we talked about in week one of why journalism is different from other forms of writing. What you're trying to do with the stories that you select as news. So that's why I wanted to highlight it here in the lecture this week. I'm still working on reading your blogs for the week. Um, I'll have those for you again on Monday. For our quiz uh, next week, what I want you to focus on is a site that's affiliated with the University of Missouri, uh, uses a lot of its students, which, uh, operates right across the street, uh, but it's doing really innovative things with news. Uh, I'll post this online so you have a link, but the site is newsy.com, N-E-W-S-Y.com. We'll use that for our quiz, and you can talk about it in the discussion board if you like. If you have any other questions, please let me know, drop me an email. I think I've been pretty good at responding to those. Um, so other than that, I will talk to you next week. Thanks.